I don't care, bro. I don't like that. Ironically, someone who you did, uh, someone who you did an interview with before, Lisa Evers from Fox or whatever. Oh. No, they can't stop me now. No, they can't stop me. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Golden Tea, where the tea is always nice, hot, and juicy. Before we jump into today's video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to turn on your notification bell and don't forget to leave your thoughts and opinions down below. So guys, first today in the office, we have Tusi. So he surprised his mother with a bag of money for Christmas so she can buy her dream house. So guys, if you missed it, stay tuned. Don't fall over now. Wait, I just told her this. Can you go get a house? I know that's right. Listen, don't want to see that, girl. Let us see these stairs. I need to nah, see these stairs. Nah, they had to see mine. They got to see those. Let me see. Let me see, girl. Oh, let me see. Let me see. That's that bag, son. Yeah, I'm over here crying for you. I'm still crying. Y'all. I think it's really refreshing to see Tusi giving his mother enough money to purchase her dream house because it's so many times that famous people sometimes forget where they come from. So it's good to see that he does still care about the ones that were there for him before he ever got rich and famous. Moving on to our next topic. Next in the office today, we have the rapper 6 ix 9 So his baby mother was on Instagram stating that 6 ix 9 had a fake story put out. So he did not see his daughter on Christmas. And so basically she's saying that 6 ix 9 had it to where a news reporter put out a fake story saying that she put hands on him whenever she actually didn't. She's saying that he's a deadbeat and that he's not there for their daughter at all and that his mother actually even spent christmas with them but it's just him that's never there so guys i do have the footage of her explaining the situation and what went down so if you missed it be sure to stay tuned what you call it i like a story was put out and basically it details how from T tmc whoever put it out i don't I don't care it's detailing how you know i'm keeping i kept my daughter or the headline was like oh blinks or whoever's fucking baby mama because i am not defined by that nigga is not landed them see their um kid on christmas so they're not saying why or whatever the case is first of all this man hasn't spoken to my daughter in months he didn't reach out for her birthday thanksgiving I we haven't heard of that man having a concern about my daughter since like the beginning of sept September. That's one. So yeah, you're not supposed to pop. You're not gonna just come around my family on holidays. Like shit is sweet, you know. I was hurt that I was hurt for my daughter that you can even make the effort or set aside the time to go ahead and you know make her birthday special on your end. Her birthday is always going to be special because I take care of her and she's going to always have shit with or without him. But that's not the point. You feel me? He likes to go on social media. My daughter this, my daughter that. Oh, I want to be home so I can see my daughter. The nigga don't even see his daughter. He don't pay no child support. He hasn't called in months. Like after already going on a year and a half of not having no communication with my daughter at all because he completely like just cut off my daughter for no reason. Like, a four-year-old did something to him. Imagine that. Um, yeah, it's just like... So, a story was put out, and I just made it very clear. I was like, you know, he's not stable. He has no sense of stability. He He's moving around. He has security. He's not safe nowhere he's going. He's getting to altercations. He's going in fucking infested places with fucking... People with no mask and shit, like, come on now. Like, you're going to strip clubs. You're doing all this extra shit. You're beefing with people. 
You haven't seen your daughter in months. You didn't even call on her birthday. You haven't done nothing right that you said you was going to do right on your end to be the father that my daughter deserves. That's just straight like that. No kid deserves a half-assed parent. And that's one. Like, he, he, his life has been a complete mess since he's got, gotten out of jail. And y'all just don't know that. Because he's been off of social media. The boy done overdose. He's done the, did mad shit, bro. That's the reason why I don't feel safe having him around my daughter until he proves himself to be in the right place in life. Like, come on now. And I'm not bitter and I'm not wrong for that. But what I'm not going to do, because I haven't said shit about him. I haven't got on live and I haven't, and I wasn't going to say anything. But what you're not going to do is rep- like have your team the moment a story that comes out about you that is true. You're a deadbeat, bro. You don't do nothing for your daughter. Your mother is so disgusted with you. She spent the holidays with us. All right? Literally, his mom was just with us, okay? For Christmas Eve and Christmas. So let's not even go there. Um, Yeah, so that should tell you enough. I don't stop nobody from seeing their kid if they made the effort to and to do right. You feel me? I don't stop nobody on his family. She's the one that put out the story that me and this fucking bozo-ass nigga got into a fight yesterday. That's because your team sent that story over to her. And she's not going to question it. Like, the fuck? Uh, That nigga got lawsuits. He got a whole bunch of shit going on with himself. That, I don't, yo, I... I am sincerely, I sh- I should sincerely be the least of his worries that he has to mention me. My hair's so long, my hair's getting long, right? No, it's simple. Don't tell a, a whack-ass fake story, fake news, to cover up the truth. You're a shit dad, that's it. You missed out on the holidays like you did every other year. You missed out on time like you did every other time. Like, I'm just over it. Like, I don't even want to sit here and talk about how much of a shit dad he is anymore. That's why I stopped going live. That's why I stopped posting. That's why I don't do... I've been very, like, chill. I've been tranquila. I've been, like, calm. So, like... For me to wake up the day after Christmas, holidays, being around family and shit like that, to hear some stupid bullshit. Like, his mom spent the spent Christmas Eve and Christmas with us. Like, I doubt any of that is taking place, like, in front of your mom. So, guys, I definitely feel what she was saying. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with her speaking her truth because there's always two sides to every story. But, guys, what do you think about this situation? Be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions down below on this video today. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And be sure to turn on your notification bell so you're notified every single time I post. I love you guys so much and I'll catch up with you on the next episode of Golden Tea News.